Hello everyone, it is Melody and I'm coming at you live from you already know. So in today's video, we are going to be talking all about my job with VIP Kid. Now it's been about two and a half months since I started working with them, so I wanted to kind of update you guys, tell you what I'm liking, tell you what I'm not liking, give you my thoughts, and I also am gonna show you what a typical morning teaching looks like for me. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. So basic number one, VIP Kid, what is it? It's a company that's based out of China. They have an online platform where they pair Chinese students ages four to 12 with English speaking teachers who can teach them English. Now through this platform, the teachers basically need to show up on time, teach a lesson and write feedback for each class that they teach. And the cool thing that I like about this job is that you get to make your hours. You can work, you can work as much as you want, as little as you want, and you can work from anywhere as long as you have a kind of clear background, a good wireless connection, and it's really important that it is kind of like a silent environment, and that's really it. You can do it from anywhere. So those are the basics. Let's go ahead and see what a typical morning for me looks like. Hello. Wow. Cece, stand up. Very good. So it is currently 7.49, I'm in between classes. I started teaching at 6.30 this morning. I had a 6.30 class, seven o'clock. I take a break at 7.30 until eight, and then I have four more classes after eight. So this is basically how I prefer to do my mornings. I don't like to teach too many classes back to back because personally, I start feeling drained, feeling like I'm not giving my best effort if I'm teaching too many back to back. So having this little break at 7.30 really, really helps me. So basically, after you teach a class, you have to fill in a feedback form. For me, these feedback forms take surprisingly a lot of effort and a lot of time. I'm trying to get more um, concise, I guess. I'm trying to find a method to where it's not gonna take me too long to do it. So when I do have a break, I like to go ahead and fill in the feedback for the classes that I just taught, so I'm not doing it later. So let me kind of briefly so this is my one of my students harry and you kind of have these questions to see how they did on their assessment and then you write a paragraph or you know like some feedback at the end as well and honestly this is a major key to retaining your students and to also like gaining a clientele of students writing amazing feedback the longer the better the more in depth the better and anything that you learn about the student in class like say you learn their favorite color is yellow and that they love to play badminton put that in the feedback because then the parent knows like wow you have a bond with my kid blah 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 today our lesson is meg and mike in mongolia yay these are basically my essentials my phone i have a piece of paper where i write down the student because i teach so many at a time if i don't write down notes i have a really hard time um remembering what they did and like what kid i taught so i always write down notes this basically is my notebook dedicated to <laughs> my students in our classes and then phone coffee the holy grail computer this is my um, reward system i give them teeth <laughs> when they do a very good job and my headphones. You get do, do, do. two, two teeth. Wow, very good job. High five, very good. Boom. Now I do kind of want to note how I do my hair and my makeup during class. So I found that I kind of look the same if I put on like foundation and concealer or if I don't. And it's just much quicker in the morning if I don't put it on, especially since it barely makes a difference. So for me, my teaching makeup is simply putting on some eyebrows. 
and I put on a hair scarf as well because I have never really worn my hair out. I try to just keep it back and low. I think it just looks more professional that way. But honestly, my hair is actually <laughs> in some braids. And that is really one of the things I love about my job. I don't have to do my hair. I do not have to do my hair. I can literally have it in braids, have it in whatever, just throw the scarf on, good to go. And I also have just on a normal kind of sweater t-shirt thing. And then on the bottoms, I legit have on pajamas. Do -do -do -do. Pajamas. And that's another thing I love. Goodbye, Chloe. See you next time. Goodbye. We are finished. It is officially 10 o'clock. I just finished my last class. It was my favorite student. Oh, I love her so much. She is literally the light of my life. I adore her, absolutely adore her. But yeah, so that is basically how my mornings go. Typically during the work week, like Monday through Friday, I will only work in the mornings and max I will work about three and a half hours and that is really it. I kind of just want to show you guys what the teaching portal looks like and what like booking looks like. So when you have a class and it's booked, it's going to be green. Now, when you open your schedule and you don't have a class, it is going to look white. So let me kinda, so this one right here is where I do not have a class and I'm saying that I am available for a class. And I also have this little blue button checked, or I'm sorry, this little blue box checked. And that means that someone can book me within 24 hours. So these are the classes I taught this morning. Doo -doo -doo. These are the ones that I have the rest of the week, and that is really it. Now let me show you my previous week. I was working so much. Woo, Lord. Just looking at it makes me tired. So that was my previous week. And this is me working a lot on purpose because I am going on vacation. So when you are teaching with VIP Kid, you do have two weeks vacation, and to take that time off, all you have to do is send them a message and let them know that you are taking a week off or two weeks, whatever it may be. And um, that's really it. Let's wrap this up and I will shoot, let's go and shoot myself into the, <laughs> that sounds really bad. Let's transition over into the future when I am just sitting and talking to you guys. Okay, peace. All right guys, so as you can see, that is basically what I do Monday through Friday or whenever I open my schedule up, essentially. So let me go ahead and give you guys my verdict. If you didn't pick up on it already, my overall verdict of VIP Kid is, I love it. I love teaching. I love the way that they have set up the program and the platform. I love the fact that I don't need to really lesson plan. I don't need to have a lot of back end work. I focus on just teaching in the 25 minutes that I'm given. Oh, I don't know if I said that, that each class lasts for 25 minutes. So that is another thing. And another thing that I like is I choose my schedule. Now I will say that there are peak hours, meaning the best hours to teach or the hours that you're most likely to get students. Those are 7 p.m. Beijing time to 9 p.m. Beijing time. Now, wherever you are in the world, you just have to do this conversion. So right now, when I'm in Florida, it's exactly 12 hours. So 7 p.m. Beijing time is 7 a.m. in Florida. When I go to Madrid, I believe it is six hours off. So it's gonna be great. I'll be able to sleep in again. Honestly, I kind of forgot what sleeping in is like. So yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind that like your peak hours will vary depending on where you are teaching in the world. Overall, I think it is great. I highly recommend it for anyone who kind of wants ESL teaching experience or just wants a job that you can make some extra money on the side or that you want to travel and do this while you travel because it's very um, possible. I mean, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Now, with all that being said, if you are interested in signing up, I have a referral link that I will put in the description box. So if you're interested, link will be in the description box. And if you have any other questions that I did not tackle in this video, then please leave me a message down below and I will be sure to get back with you. And I think that is everything. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay inspired, and I will catch you later. Peace.